everybody. Um, I realize that a lot of students are having trouble with the science fair um, assignments. They're not sure what to do or they're not sure how to access the documents and so um, even though we did it in the computer lab it's been a couple weeks and I wanted to make sure that you had a resource that you could access um, at home. So the first video that I'm gonna make is um, for you to get into your portal at home because that seems to be an issue as well so when you are at school you're and you log into the computer your portal automatically pops up and it tells you to log in but at home it's not going to do that because um, it's your home computer so you're going to open up your web browser and whatever your web browser is it's going to look something similar to this and it's this little curse bar and it's asking you where you want to go so you're going to type in my district portal mine comes up automatically because I do it all the time but the first time yours is not going to do that and you're going to hit enter and the first search that you get is going to be the one that you want it's my district portal and it's www.mysdpbc.org. And so when you click on that, it's going to ask you for your, um, well, it comes up for mine anyway because I'm, I'm logged in already. But it's going to ask you for your login ID and your password. Your login ID is the same one that you use to access the computers at school. So it's S and your student number. And then your password is defaulted to the last four digits of your student number and the two digit year of your birth. So if you were born in 2004, your password is going to be the last four digits of your student number, 04. Okay. Um, and then once you get into your portal, you're going to realize that you have all of these um, resources available to you. If you go down to the bottom, um, and you just click on these little options here you're gonna see you have um, you have your email which I we went into the lab to make sure that you knew how to send and receive email and I know that you know how to do it because I made you all send me an email um, and you have brain pop and if you keep you may or may not have headline I'm not sure you should um, and if you get you have discovery ed and these are educational resources that you can access from home if you have a question about something. So if you click on Brain Pop and let's say you were in class today and Miss Kennedy was talking about experiments and you're like, wait, what's an experiment? You go into the search bar and you type in what you want to know and hit enter. And it's going to give you these resources here. And these resources, um, some, they're videos or little activities. Sometimes they're like um, online games. And you can just click on them and they will help you. They'll assist you. So that's the assistance that you have at home. Um, so that's basically how to get in and use your drive. If you have any questions, email me or ask me in class. I'll be happy to answer them.